This is the story of a girl who was babysitting for a family friend one stormy night. A little girl and a little boy. The parents had a love for clowns and had collected clowns from around the world for years, setting aside a room in the house just to put them on display. That night, the children were playing in that very room. Many of the clowns were just statues, and some were life-size. One in particular was seated in a small childlike rocking chair. The babysitter started to feel more and more uneasy about this statue throughout the night. She felt as though the eyes were following her whenever she moved around the room with the children. She decided to call the parents. I'm so sorry to bother you, she said, but I was wondering if I could move this clown that you have in the rocking chair. It's starting to scare the kids tonight. What clown are you referring to? I don't recall us having a clown fit in that description. Are you sure it's sitting in the rocking chair? Mother asked her. Yes, I'm sure, said the girl. It's sitting right here. I'm looking at it right now. Why? I know it's probably very old and I shouldn't attempt to move it, but take the kids and get out of the house right now. The neighbour across the street will let you in. Call me immediately when you get there. With that, the mother hung up. Frightened and confused, the babysitter grabbed the children and ran out. When she and the kids arrived safely at the neighbours, she called and the mother answered. What's wrong? Did something happen? Are you all okay? The girl asked. Yes, we're fine. But it's not us we're worried about, it's you and the children. I'm so glad you called, we were afraid this would happen again. We will be there shortly with the police. I'll explain everything when we get there. And the mother hung up. The parents later explained to the girl that for some time they had suspected that their old next door neighbour had been stalking them with the thought to kidnapping the children or worse. He had been arrested and contained in a mental institution a long time ago and it appears that he had escaped. He was mentally ill, heard voices and was extremely dangerous. She told the girl that she was very lucky to be alive and she was thankful nothing had happened to them. The police never found an extra crime that night and a psychopath is still on the loose.